in this video we are going to discuss about python program to check whether given number is palindrome number or not so palindrome number means the reverse of a number is equals to the given number so let the number is 123 so what is the reverse of 123 321 so 123 is not equals to 321 so we can say that 123 is not a palindrome number let the number is 121 121 so what is the reverse of 121 121 only so the reverse of the number is equals to the given number so we can say that 121 is uh, a palindrome number okay uh, let us see the program so first we have to read uh, data first we have to read a number from the keyboard so in python in order to read a number from the keyboard we use as input function but the problem with input function is input function by default it returns the data as a string so we have to convert the string into integer so that should be done with the help of the into function so here the statement is n is equal to int of input of enter a number so into function converts the corresponding data into the uh, integer okay so now let us assume that the number is 121 uh, let me enter 121 so 121 will be available in n okay uh, next we are storing n in a variable called pal so why because here in the while loop we have to repeat the while loop until n becomes 0 so but we need to but we need to have the number why because what is a palindrome number the reverse of your number is equals to the given number but here in while loop n is becoming 0 so we are repeating the while loop uh, as long as n is not equal to 0. So whenever n becomes 0, we are quitting the while loop. So that's why uh, before going into the while loop, so first we have to store n in a variable called pal. So now the value of the pal is our number. So let we enter a value called 121. So now pal contains 121. So while n is greater than 0, 121 is greater than 0. So this is the logic for uh, reversing a given number. So first we have to calculate remainder. So R is equal to N modulo 10. In order to calculate reverse of a given number, the formula is reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus R. The initial value of REV is 0. The initial value of REV is 0. Uh, so after pal is equal to N, let us write a statement called REV is equal to 0. Okay. So REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. So next in order to get the remaining part of the number, let us perform integer division or floor division. So N is equal to N by 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 10. Here we should not use division operator. Why? Because in Python division we give floating point number as the result. But here we require integer part. So that's why it is better to perform with integer division or floor division operator. Okay. So now let us see the logic. Let the number is 121. So 121 is greater than 0. Condition is true. So R is equal to 121 modulo 10. So 10, 121. So 10 pulse are 120. 121 minus 120 means 1. So we know that remainder modulo will always give remainder. So here what is the remainder? This value is nothing but the remainder. So R value is 1. So now what is the formula? Reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus R. The initial value of REV is 0. So REV is equal to 0 into 10 plus R. So what is remainder value? 1. So 0 into 10 means 0. 0 plus 1 means 1. So now reverse is equal to 1. Okay. Next n is equal to n by 10. n by 10. So 120 by 121 by by 10. So if you perform 121 by by 10, we will get the integer part. So here the integer part is this quotient only. So 12. So now n becomes 12. So once again the control goes to the value. While 12 is greater than 0. So 10, 12, 10 ones are 10. 12 minus 10 means 2. So now the remainder value is 2. So what is the formula for REV? REV is equal to REV into 10 plus R. REV is equal to the previous value of REV is 1. So 1 into 10 plus what is the remainder value? 2. So 1 into 10 means 10. 10 plus 2 means 12. 12. Next n is equal to n by 10. So in, the, in this iteration n value is 12. Uh, whereas uh, here we have uh, denominator as 10. 
So 12 by by 10 means we will get the integer part. So that integer part is nothing but this quotient. That is 1. So now n value is 1. So once again control goes to the while loop. While 1 is greater than 0. Condition is true. So once again uh, the body will gets executed. So 10 zeros are 0. 1 minus 0 means 1. Now the remainder value is 1. So REV is equal to what is the formula? REV into 10 plus R. So what is the previous value in REV? 12. So 12 into 10 plus what is the remainder value? 1. So 12 into 10 means 120. So 120 plus 1 means 121. So n is equal to n by 10. So 1 by 10 means the integer part is 0. So why is 0 greater than 0? Condition is false. So whenever the condition is false, then the control comes out from the value. So now what is the value of the pal 121? What is the value in REV 121? So pal value is 121, REV value is 121. So 121 is double is equal to 121. Condition is true. So we will get the output as palindrome number. If you observe the reverse logic here, here after the first iteration, we will get the reverse of the last digit. So if we reverse the last digit, the reverse of 1 is 1 only. So after the first iteration, we will get reverse of the last digit as the output. After the second iteration, we will get the reverse of the last two digits. The reverse of 21 is 12. So after the second iteration, we, we got 12 as the output. After the third iteration, we will get the reverse of this 121. The reverse of 121 is 121. Okay. So in this way, we can check whether a number is a palindrome or not uh, with the help of a uh, while loop. Now let us see whether this logic is correct or not practically in a computer. Now let's see the program execution. So first we have read it a number from the keyboard. Uh, next before uh, checking the condition, we have to store n in a variable called pal. So now pal contains the number. So the initial value of REV is 0. So while n is greater than 0, then we have to do these three activities. So first we have to calculate the remainder. Next in order to calculate the reverse of the number, the logic is this statement. Reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus r. Uh, next in order to perform operations on its previous digits, uh, just we are calculating n. n is equal to n slash slash 10. So this slash slash represents floor division or integer division. So this process will be repeated as long as n is greater than 0. So whenever n becomes 0, then the condition will become false. So the control comes out from the while loop. If pal is double is equal to REV, then we can say that it is a palindrome number. Why? Because palindrome number means the reverse of a number is equal to the given number. The reverse number is available in REV. Whereas the given number is available in the PAL. So if PAL and REV both are equal, then we can say that it is a palindrome number. <laughs> Otherwise, it is not a palindrome number. Now let us execute the program. Let the number is 123. So if we reverse 123, then we will get 321. So 123 and 321, they are not equal. So we can say that it is not a palindrome number. Now let us run the program one more time. So let the number is 121. So if we reverse 121, then we will get 121 only. So 121 is equals to 121. So we can say that it is a palindrome number. So with this, we can conclude that our logic is correct.